A man from Auburn who police say raped and murdered a woman in Alaska nearly three decades ago is fighting his extradition back to that state. New Center's Clay Gordon was there today when Stephen Downs made his first court appearance. Walking into Lewiston District Court in shackles and chains, Stephen Harris Downs appears before Judge John Martin as a fugitive of justice, accused of a crime outside of the state. According to court documents filed in Alaska, Downs had no criminal record leading up to the day in 1993 when Sophie Sergi, visiting friends at the University of Alaska Fairbanks, was found dead in a dorm bathroom, one floor below where Downs, a student at UAF, lived. He's now charged with raping Sergi and murdering her. The defendant's facing some serious charges uh, in another state. Uh, the state is asking for the defendant to be held without bail. He uh, thinks there must be some mistake. Uh, he's asking the court to consider setting bail at 5,000 cash. Right? Under those circumstances, hold Mr. Downs without bail. Downs was arrested Friday. Police were led to him when DNA from the 1993 crime scene was a partial match to one of Downs' aunts who had taken a DNA test and became part of a nationwide database. A DNA swab taken from Downs a few years ago was a positive match for the crime scene sample. He's been working as a registered nurse here in Maine. In separate incidents in 2016 and 2017, two co-workers at the Harris House, a nursing care facility in Livermore Falls, told officials Downs made statements or acted in ways that made them feel uncomfortable. He was later fired for what the owners of Harris House called a totality of substandard performance. He is currently unemployed. But before attending the University of Alaska Fairbanks, Downs graduated from here, Edward Little High School, in 1992. His yearbook says he ran cross country and track and was in a drama club. Because he didn't waive extradition, Downs is staying in Maine for now. Well, he's contesting. He doesn't want to go back to Alaska. He doesn't feel like he should have to go back to Alaska. And he feels like he's innocent of the allegations. Only a warrant from Alaska's governor will send him to the last frontier. In Lewiston, Clay Gordon, New Center, Maine. And Downs is scheduled to be back in that Maine courtroom in a month.